Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how to four link your WPL C74 Jimny, or as we call them in the US, a Samurai. So, I'm guessing that uh, WPL is planning to offer a link kit for this truck um it has all the provisions for it. it has the mounting holes here and here here and here and on the uh truss that carries the um chest or the axle mounted servo the uh Provisions are there for the shocks and the links and the uppers up in here. So I went ahead and did it and it worked out great. I used um, I used the link kit from the uh, C24 truck and I used the shocks from a C34 with the C24 springs in them. Now, as you can see, I've also installed the uh, WPL two speed transmission and I had to make a slight adjustment with this link right here. I don't know if you can see the bend in it, but I put a little bend in it just to clear the uh, servo arm for the shifting mechanism possibly maybe be able to see it a little bit easier here yeah you can see you can see the bend of that one right up in there so if you do install these links with a two-speed transmission keep in mind you'll have to do that little bend there to, for the clearance but as i promised in the other video that i showed running this truck running um i was going to give you all the everything you need to do this now you can do this any way you want however way you want to build your links i did it the way i did it because i had it on hand and also being as they have the provisions the little ball ends on the front uh, truss it worked rather well with the wpl kit because they just pop right on so I actually had to use two different sets of link kits for this truck to get the correct length. Um, I'm sorry I don't have a link. I will try to find one and I will attach it to the uh, description when I get uh, when I get everything set up here. But for the uh, for the link lengths, I'm just going to put this piece of paper out and you can pause the video and you can read the dimensions that you're going to need. So there you are right there. You can go ahead and read this, pause the screen, and that gives you in millimeters or in inches. And its inches is like two inches, 475 thousandths, or it'd be 63 millimeter. So I put both of them on there. Hopefully everybody can read this. My uh, my writing isn't the greatest, but I think it's legible. So those are the links you're going to need. And I will uh, include links to the two-speed, the uh, metal axles, and um, also I don't have it yet but I have the longer inner drive shaft coming for these because it's a little bit short and, and they flop around a little bit. They don't come apart, but they flop around a little bit. So I, uh, I ordered the longer inner section from WPL and I'll include the link in that as well. When I get, uh, when I get this all set up in, uh, live on YouTube. But uh, there you have it. It works. Uh, it works great. Um, let me get this 
put back together here so you can see the uh, how it sits. But uh, yeah, there you are. That's a uh, four link front and rear WPL C74 Jimny. Has a nice flex. Works really well. Now these tires and wheels that I have on here, these are the bigger MN MN uh, D90 tires, and these wheels are RBRC aluminum wheels. Unfortunately, I bought like four sets of these, and I can't find them anywhere now. So, um. If you're interested in them, you're going to have to search. I tried to find them to post a link for these as well, and uh, I couldn't find them anywhere. They used to be everywhere, and now they're nowhere to be found. So I don't know whether they're discontinued or or what the deal is with them. But uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is how you do it. And uh, it works great. I, I'm pretty sure that WPL is going to come out with a correct um, link set for this truck, being as they put the provisions on it. Oh, this is another thing you're going to need um, to do this for the rear. Uh, I have a WPL aluminum uh, axle truss. You can see it in there. I just... Uh, they all, they all have the pan hard mount on, so I just cut this off and painted up a little black paint that doesn't need to be there. And also, if you're wondering, you know, I have black covers on the metal axles. I just used the black covers instead of the red ones for this build. But yes, these are indeed metal axles on here. So, yeah, this build's coming along. I'm real happy with how it works now. I think I'm going to leave my other one leafed, and um, I'll have one leaf chimney and one four-link chimney. So, if you have any questions, I think I've included all the parts that you need to do this. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description. So, there you go. That's how it looks. It comes out really nice. And it also works very well. So, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. Um, share, comment. So, everybody have a good day. Uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one. Later.